that person who, during Brahma Mohorta, loudly and attentively recites this Guru Vastakam, is sure to achieve direct service to the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, the life and soul of Vrindavan, at the end of his current life, upon attaining Vastu Siddhi, his eternal spiritual form. That's a pretty good fruit. So there's eight verses, and then the last one, it's called Fal Shruti, to hear of the benedictions by recitation. It's a very beautiful benediction. We spoke about this during Vibhava Reshisha discussions. What does it mean to achieve Vastu Siddhi? It's a very high thing. We should not think this is cheap. Because bhakti is very beautiful and a simple process, if you follow it sincerely and surrender, sometimes we think, oh, this is very easy to attain. But we should also not lose sight of the gravity and the complications of being enmeshed in the tangled web of material existence and to break the cycle of the habitual absorption in matter and the enjoyments of the senses and the objects of the senses throughout millions of lives in samsara. We have to break that wheel. So our Vedic culture, our Vaishnav culture teaches the condition of our life, which is that we are in samsara. Sometimes it's described to be like a forest fire. And we discussed that yesterday. Why? Samsara anale body. I'm fallen in samsara, which is like a fire. Jwali che hridhai, which is burning my heart. Sometimes it's described to be like an ocean because we are drowning in it. And if we search, there's no shore. So it's described to be like an ocean of samsara. How big is the universe? We've discussed this a little bit. How many yojanas? A lot of yojanas. One yojana is eight miles, approximately. And the universe is many, many, many millions of miles in diameter. And that's just one little seed in the sea of material existence. And so we may think, I will swim to the border of this material ocean, samsara, and then we cannot even swim over a large lake. What to speak of an ocean in this world, what to speak of the ocean of material existence. So sometimes it's referred to being like drowning in the ocean. It means the living entity is stuck on the wheel of material existence. This is how Krishna describes in the Bhagavad Gita. Yantra Rudrani Mayaya. We are trapped on that wheel of material existence. Therefore, Sri Krishna Das sings, Sadhu Sange Kori Hari Bhaje Jabi Tabayanta Hoya Klesh. Tabayanta Hoya Klesh. 